This is a quick video demonstration on how to combine two NC or G code files and eliminate a lot of work having to, to establish new machining operations for all of the primitives. These files are generally produced using a CAM program and is used to control a CNC router or, or CNC machine. The G code file contains instructions for moving the machine and controlling various peripherals connected to the machine. The file that I will use to demonstrate this technique contains many parts, but it only occupies half of the area of the 4x8 sheet stock that I'm using. What I intend to do is create another file that positions these parts rotated on the empty portion of the 4x8 sheet. Then I will save that file and manually merge the two G-code files that were produced using the CAM program. I will be using CAMBAM, but this technique should work fine with other CAM programs as well. The first step would be to produce a G-code file for this particular file, so I'm going to do that we should see a g-code file created in the folder. Next, in my case, is to draw a boundary where the parts will be aligned against because the original parts will be moved and the initial location will be lost. I'm going right up against the exi existing primitives so I'm able to understand where the edge of these parts lie. Next I'm going to select all the parts not including that line. I'm going to move them. Actually I'm going to rotate them first because I would like them to be rotated 180 degrees to make them fit better. Now I'm going to move them. I can't use control M because my video recording uses that so I'm going to go to edit transform move. I'm going to get into the general location that I need it. Now I'm going to zoom in just to check where it's located and whether I need to move it closer to this line. Looks like I have a lot of space here, so I could actually move it out if I wanted to. And optionally, you can move it in a way that has holding tabs aligned to these. You'd want to uh, use the line that you created and, and show where the holding tabs are, so you'd be able to align the holding tabs accordingly. That way you can reduce wear on the end mill and save even more space if you need it. I'm happy with the way it looks now, so I'm going to regenerate the drawing. And I can remove this line if I want to. I don't really need to, but I will anyway. And I'm going to save this file as CAM file 2. I've already made one, but I'm just going to write over it. Now I'm going to produce uh, another file, a G code file for this. And we should see two G code files created. This is a backup file, so that won't be used in this case. Now we need to take these two G-code files and we need to merge them. And the only real effective way to do this is to do it manually. So we're going to open them up side by side. And in my case, the G-code file, the number one, was the parts that were on the left-hand side. And the CAM file two are the parts that are on the right-hand side. You'll notice there are a few lines that actually are for control and initialization. We're not going to be considering those lines because they're already in this file here. And you can generally tell which ones they are because you look at the two, the two files together and you see that they're pretty much the same. They're going to output the same, uh, CAM programs will output the same initialization information and uh, will end, it, end the initialization area with a, an M3 or uh, an M code that starts the, the spindle or it will start a coolant or something like that. You want to select the instructions that start with the G0 and then go all the way down to the end of the file up to the, the G0 and in my case it's Z.05. You don't want the M5 and the M30 because those will the M5 will turn off the spindle so you want to make sure you get anything between the initialization at the top and the bottom control instructions. We're going to copy these and we'll go into the other file and go all the way to the bottom where we have the M5. We're going to add some space in here and then we're going to paste the copied information. We can reduce or eliminate the space that we created. We can go ahead and close the other file. We don't need that anymore. Now I'm going to save this file with another name. Make sure that the text document is not selected and that you have a dot and C at the end of the file name. Go ahead and close this file and we'll open it up in our CAM program.
and we should see that they're both positioned correctly on the sheet. If your program has a simulation function, I would recommend running that simulation program for this file just to make sure that you have no issues in the processing of the file. So that is how you can take two files, put them together, and eliminate a lot of work having to, to establish new machining operations for all of the primitives.